Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure Jenkins on Windows 11 operating system. But the process is same on all Windows operating systems. Open any web browser, then go to Jenkins.io. It is the official website for Jenkins. Click on it. Click on documentation. Then click on installing Jenkins. Then select Windows. See, these are the minimum hardware requirements 256 megabytes 1 gb space and only the requ software requirement is java okay right click open link in new tab see we must have either java 11 17 or 21 okay so i'm going to download and install java jdk 21 open new tab go to google and search for java downloads Click on Java downloads. See, these are the long term supported versions. So, we are going to download the Java, 7, Java JDK 17. Click on Java JDK 17. Then click on Windows. Then either download exe file or MSI file. Both are fine. So, I am going to download bin file. See, the size is 154 megabytes. It is downloaded. Go to downloads directory. Double click on this bin file to install double click on it before that open cmd verify whether we have java or not see we don't have java okay so click on next see it is going to install in this directory if you want to change you can change otherwise click on next We have successfully installed Java JDK 17. Close this one. Now go to CMD. Type Java hyphen hyphen version. It will not give the version because this session or this CMD opened before. Now open CMD again. Type Java hyphen hyphen version. See, we have installed Java JDK 17. Okay. The previous the prerequisite match now go to Jenkins site click on download see here we have the two types of downloads stable and weekly releases we have to download the stable or LTS version so scroll down then click on windows see download has been started its size is 94 megabytes wait until download completes See, download is completed. Now go to downloads directory. Remove this Java file. It is not required. I have already installed. Now double click on this Jenkins. Select it or hit enter. Click on next. See, this will be the Jenkins installation directory. If you want to change, you have to click on this change button and you have to choose the path. I am okay with the default one. So click on next. I want to run Jenkins services local system. Then click on next. See, this is the port 8080. Check whether the port is available. Click on test port. See its screen. No worries. If it, see if this port number is already used by some other application, then you have to give 8081 or 8082. Okay. For me, the port number is available. So click on next. See. Now we have to select the Java version. Click on change. Select the Java 17, click on OK, click on Next, Firewall exception, select, it will be installed on local drive, then click on Next, click on Install. See, we have successfully installed Jenkins 2.46.2, click on Finish, now go to the See, this is the URL used to connect to Jenkins portal. Copy it because we have given the port number as 8080. Hit enter. Just give HTTPS. Hit enter. See, we have to provide the administrator password. We can get that from this file. It is there in this location. Copy. Not bad. Open, 
paste that file hit enter say this is the administrator password copy it paste here click on continue got it see now customize Jenkins see here how the install suggested plugins are select plugins to install okay so select either one so I'm going with install suggested plugins select it see it is installing the plugins that are suggested by Jenkins if you want to install additional plugins we can install them after setup or configuration see now we have to create the admin user it is not mandatory we can skip and continue or we can create so i'm going to create administrator name can be anything which okay then provide the password for this user then click on save and continue see this will be the Jenkins URL to connect click on save and finish click on start using Jenkins see this is the Jenkins dashboard you want to log out you have to click on log out then view this URL that is HTTPS localhost 8080 hit enter then provide the username administrator Then provide the password and click on the sign in. Okay, we got the same screen. If you want to create new item, you have to click on here. Then you have to select the item type like freestyle project pipeline or right? other options. Folder or we have the, these options. Okay, if you want to go back to a dashboard, you have to click on here. If you want to see the build history, you have to click on here. If you want to manage Jenkins, click on manage Jenkins. See here we have the different options like plugins. If you want to add additional plugins, you can click on here. See here we have the like updates, available plugins, and installed plugins. See these are the installed plugins. And if you want to see advanced settings, you have to click on here. Okay. I'm not going to install anything. If you want to see my views, you have to click on my views. If you want to create a job you have to click on here if you want to set up an agent you have to click on configure cloud and more options if you want to stop the service go to services.msc maximize it jenkins see services started service is running if you want to stop select the service jenkins and if you want to stop you have to click on stop if you want to restart you have to restart or right click and select stop or restart otherwise select the service then click on stop or restart let me stop it and we will see whether we will be able to connect to jenkins portal or not now try to reload see we are unable to connect now start it again now click on reload or refresh this page again we have to give the username and password see we have successfully connected if you want to restart Jenkins service right click and click on restart if you reload nothing will happen again login last step is we have to remove the Jenkins exe file delete it so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure jenkins on windows 10 or 11 operating system for more jenkins or ci cd videos please subscribe my channel thank you